Now it's 17 feet deep. I don't know. They just. Yeah. Thought I better check. It should get deeper as we go out. Something near the surface now. Actually, there's a lot of something near the surface now. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop anchor here. I think this is going to be a waste of time at this point. Let's go ahead and grab these, bring these in. Put some shallow crank baits on here. Let's try this three foot on on here. Here, uh, I've got eight foot and three foot. Let's try the three foot first. All I have are glow in the dark, though. Well, we will start with this three foot glow in the dark. It's a little on the light side, no big deal. Should be able to still cast it fairly well. Yeah. If it doesn't work, we'll go ahead and try the 8 foot or 12 foot. See what they do. But most of the time when I have caught Atlantic salmon, I've caught them nearer to the surface. So I'm thinking these are going to work better for me. I have not tried this, so I have no idea if this is even going to work. I'm just going by what worked at Moose Lake. These worked great at Moose Lake, but you know, this is a completely different, completely different place. We're going to keep going. If anything happens, I'll bring you back. Alright, since we went past this buoy, we started to get something seriously biting on here. What do we got here? Brook trout. Really? I would have never guessed. <laughs> would have never guessed. I saw a whole bunch of splashing going on. I figured it was salmon. Yeah, you can see there's always a lot of splashing going around that buoy for some reason. But no, I had no idea it was going to be brook trout. I 
I'm just kind of skirting around the edges because you can't go beyond those little floating uh, balloons or whatever you call them. That's the boundaries of the lake. Not a whole lot, nothing has really been biting much on it. That was the first thing that did and I've been all the way around the edge here. The water here though, 35 feet deep, at least, pretty darn deep. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and continue going around like I am. Again if anything happens I'll bring it back, but if nothing happens I think we're going to switch to a different lure, maybe try a little bit deeper, might try a spinner and a spoon just to see, mix things up. Yeah, nothing's biting now. That brook trout, that was it. Okay, we're finally starting to get a few blips, but it's pretty quiet. We're using a hunched runner right now and an eight foot crankbait. See if that gets anything's attention. I think we might have something on number one though. Let me see here. No? Hmm. You know, things could change during the peak though. Now we'll keep at it guys. We might run into something here. We might not. All I do know is there, there are fish out here. Believe me, you catch plenty of them off the shore. So seems like trolling would work as well. But you never know. And when you go past this, you got to be careful not to get too close. It will glitch out on you. will most definitely glitch out on you. Okay guys, there's a lot of blips. A lot of blips. I think we might have one. This is a single spoon. And we got one on there for sure. Hold on. This is a spinner. Half ounce, as you can see. White bass. So apparently we had a school of white bass. Yeah, I went ahead and forwarded it to the peak to see if that was not a problem with getting any interest of the Atlantic salmon. I'm going to toss this back out there a little further. I am getting blips, which is good. Finally, getting something to indicate we got fish. And there's bait fish jumping, so they're scared of something. Predators are amongst us. There we go. Nice. What the heck? Oh, that was probably a snag. Dang on it. Never mind. Sure looks good. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you try to go over there if it no, nope, it's just like a invisible boundary. Damn it. It sucks because you can actually fish over there. Okay, there is something on that one. 
Oh, I was a little worried about the tension on that one. This might be what we're after here, guys. Finally, there we go. Spinner, spinner. Supposedly they go after bullet spinners too. I don't have one, and no, it's a brown trout. Well, very nice. We are going to take that tension down just a touch. <laughs> that was a really pushing our tension levels there. So a half ounce got us a brown trout. Let's see what else we can find here, guys. Trying to find the ever elusive Atlantic salmon. We're going to make a pass. Toying around. Toying and toying and toying and toying and. So far, the spinner has picked up on some stuff, so that's good. Just my microphone here a little bit. See, right up here, I don't know if you can see as I come on it, but there's always a lot of splashing going on right up here. And anytime you're fishing over there by the lighthouse or whatever, if you cast out there, you are going to hook into something. Well, that one we did. And we still didn't get a bite. Yeah, we did. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do, and that got us, I think, another brown trout. No! Yellow perch. New personal record. 160, and we've got something in a number two now, too. What have we got here? <laughs> Must have ran into a school of yellow perch. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's cool. Well, we got those off of spinners and single spoons. Now, when I was going after wall, I didn't get anything off of that. I'm tempted to try this large spinner since I don't have a bullet spinner. See what else we have here we might be able to work with. I don't think a popper is going to do any good. I'm really tempted to try this 12 foot crankbait, even though it is crawfish color. I don't know if it's going to do any good or not. But we're going to give it a shot. We're just going to see what happens. No, they're going after that. I think I found the spot that we need to troll around. It's actually a very small area. I've been all around this and I haven't really gotten much as far as bites, but also I haven't seen a whole lot of activity. But I'm starting to now, so this is the peak. So I think what we're going to do is head to the areas of activity as we swing around and then go back 
to that spot where there's a lot of activity. See? A lot of activity down there. And there's the first bite. Well, it's a great place to catch these little guys. Yeah, I don't think I can get past this boy. No, I can't even get close to it. did get a bite on that one. It's the first bite we've gotten in a while. Let's see what we got here. Largemouth bass. I could tell that right off the bat. Well, that's kind of to be expected for that type of lure. Hmm. Alright, we're going to try a triple runner on here. And the hunched runner, and if that doesn't get anything, I don't know, man. It looks like we might be getting a bite off that one. I don't know. Let me see here. No. Yeah, let's put this. Let's put this bright hunched look runner on there. Yeah, I don't have any soft baits, so I'm going to ask you guys, my viewers, if you've been having success with the trolling at all. If anyone has, let me know, because what I've used for Atlantic Salmon in the past does not seem to be working here. What, mo what worked for Moose Lake does not work here. And that's kind of disappointing. I was certain that that would not be the case. Holy crap. Is that a fish? No, it's just the lure. The lure's heavy, I guess. Alright guys, I am back. And I will tell you honestly, I was very disappointed by the trolling here. Didn't get much activity here at all. So I am going to go just, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the anchor down here. First let me put this down. Let me see here. I am going to try a few things here. The spoons didn't work when I used them. Let's try to see what happens when I use them without trolling. This is where I had all the activity before. I swear to God, right off the bat, guys, right off the bat, we get a bite. We get walleye. That is really strange. But then again, maybe it really isn't. Because honestly, what I was using was a stop and go. 
and I was using a very slow retrieve and that may be just what they go for in this particular part of the lake. Maybe trolling is since it's a constant retrieve and it's a little on the fast side, maybe it's too much for these fish. I don't know. But I'm doing like a count of five and stopping. And that's. Since there's a lot of trout out here, that's a very typical retrieve for out here. Yep, see? Oh, damn, and whatever it was, he was big. Oh. Sorry, I've got plenty of those. Just surprised that he broke that line that easily. Well, let's get this one out. I bet you I can... Alright, let's just let's just for giggles. Let's try this one. The only difference we're gonna do is we're gonna do this slower. And I think we might pause it every now and then. First let's get it down there where it needs to be. Now let's pause like every ten or so. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what it is. It's the presentation. It's all about the presentation. And there's our Atlantic Salmon right there. There he is. Yep, trolling is very difficult to do for these guys, unfortunately. It just seems to be the case. Hey. Very, very interesting. Just to make absolutely sure that I'm not crazy, I am going to throw on a crankbait here. The hunched runner already proved it. Spoon already proved it. Let's just go with a Let's go with the 12 foot crank. Let's take it down real low. Throw it way over there beyond the buoy in the area I couldn't fish in or troll in. And we'll do exactly what I just did. Get it to where it needs to be. Pause. Do it another 10. And pause. <laughs> Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Yep. Well, we just learned something. That's what fishing's about, guys. You gotta learn things from time to time. Another trophy, another person of record. Sometimes you just have to try a few things, and we did find out that trolling is not easy here. I'm not saying it's impossible, and I'm not beaten yet. There are quite a few lures I did not have in my tackle. Didn't have any soft baits at all. And that was probably my mistake, but when I came here, I came with the idea of going after walleye, pike, things like that soft baits may have made the difference and I'm sure float fishing does just fine anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I will be back with another episode of the fisherman fishing planet so until then guys as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you later bye bye